Live, local, late breaking. This is KEZI 9 News, breaking news. Straight to breaking news at 5 this morning. We just learned within the past 30 minutes that Coos County has been approved to reopen with phase one guidelines in place. This means beginning tomorrow, restrictions will be eased for restaurants, salons, gyms, and local gatherings, as long as they meet requirements that include social distancing. However, a specific time on Friday was not given in the governor's approval letter. Here is the letter sent to the Coos County Board of Commissioners. In the letter, Governor Brown says reopening comes with risks and the Oregon Health Authority will be closely monitoring the spread of COVID-19 as they reopen. You see it there. We're working to learn more and we're also working to reach out to Coos County Commissioner Bob Main, who posted this very letter on Facebook within the past hour. You can continue to watch our breaking news coverage on air. And of course, we have everything you need to know on our website, KEZI.com. We are now just five hours away from the governor's press conference where she is expected to announce more counties that have been approved for phase one reopening. As you just heard, Coos County has already received that green light. Also getting approval overnight, Curry and Jackson counties in Southern Oregon. Now we have reached out to Lane County officials and are waiting to see if they have been given approval as well. KEZI 9 News 4, Jacob Roberts is live near Valley River Center in Eugene. And Jacob, we also learned retail stores are set to reopen tomorrow, even if counties do not. Yeah, that's right, Jamie. The governor said yesterday all stores in Oregon can reopen as long as they're not part of a mall and they follow the state's uh, COVID-19 health guidelines. That means they'll need new safety measures and, of course, to follow social distancing. Now, the declaration gives the green light to furniture stores, jewelry stores, boutiques, and art galleries, which were closed March 23rd by Governor Brown's stay-at-home order. It also includes all other standalone shops, from toy stores to bookstores to secondhand stores. Those were never technically ordered to close, but some may have done so. Now, stores that are part of indoor or outdoor malls are the exception unless they provide essential services. Those stores will have to remain closed until later. We're live in Eugene this morning. Jacob Roberts, KEZI 9 News. Jacob, thank you. Now to the latest numbers. Statewide, there are 3,338 positive cases of COVID-19. 53 people are hospitalized. Four new deaths reported in the last 24 hours. Three of them in Polk County. And they were all older than 90 years old with underlying medical conditions. The fourth new death was a 91 year old woman in Washington County, also with underlying medical conditions. We know that more than 80,000 tests have come back negative. Jamie. Taking a look at our local viewing area, Lynn now up to 105 cases. Eight people have died. Benton County remaining at 48, Lane County at 60, and Douglas County at 24. Coos now reporting.